It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Dallas Cowboys. And it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State in the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here's the first drive for the Ravens, and at the helm is the 2023 NFL Most Valuable Player. Second such time he's won the award, Lamar Jackson. And he's coming off a season where he showed everyone that he's worth every single penny he was given. He now has two MVP trophies on his resume and was on the verge of adding a Lamar Hunt trophy to go with it. Unfortunately, things didn't work out in his favor, but make no mistake about it. He's truly one of the most electrifying players in the NFL. As long as he's the man under center, they'll always be in championship conversation. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through. Pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Henry again on second down. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. It sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. A first down carry for Henry. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. Off the option, here's Henry, and he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Here's third and nine. They go play action with Jackson. To the right side, into the hands of Flowers. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. On the counter, it's Henry. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw it for a loss. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. In motion left, Flowers. 
Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defender's minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 26. 23 yards on the play. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Back to the ground now. It's Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. That one into the hands of Flowers. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. He will push his way down to about the 14. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. They go play action now. Jackson, and it's caught. And the Ravens are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so. Bring it up second down and a bit farther. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. Henry trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? And he'll get nothing there. Stopped right at the line as that will wind us down to the end of this first quarter of play. We're scoreless after one. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And the first play will be a field goal try. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Tucker, the former Longhorn, puts this one through. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. And 
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Well, the Cowboys making their way out behind the NFL's leader in touchdown passes for 2023. In his ninth season now, Dak Prescott. And the first possession is until the second quarter, but what's nice about it, it's only down three. So what you sell your team on is, look, one possession, one drive, we put it in the end zone. We're in the lead in this game. Let's go, guys. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Inside give to Elliott. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Deontay Hardy back deep. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Yeah, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Baltimore's set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Play action. It's Jackson. He finds Bateman over the middle. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. From the gun, Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. This second and four. A pivot and a give to Henry. Pushes past him. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. That run sure looked familiar and another first down picked up for Baltimore. And after a Hall of Fame caliber run in Tennessee, 
King Henry has made the move to Baltimore, and he's hoping he can be the missing piece that finally gets the Ravens over the hump. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. In motion right is Aguilar. Right back to him on first down. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. No big surprise, Micah Parsons doing what he does so well, dropping him for a loss. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three nothing, our score. From the gun, it's Jackson. Henry's got it, out on the left side. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Derrick Henry, 36 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-zip. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was finished off on the touchdown reception by Derrick Henry. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Here's Prescott. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. Here's second and ten. To throw is Prescott. Nice move at the 40. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Prescott now. That is caught, and he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. They'll throw again. Prescott. 
Open man, the tight end, Luke Schoonmaker. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second down and four. Prescott to throw it. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. First and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Prescott yet again. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. Seven yards there and a first down. And Ferguson established himself as one of the better safety blankets in the NFL a season ago. Fishing in the top ten of his position in catches, yards, and touchdowns. This year he expects to take that blanket off and just be one of the top tight ends in the league. Prescott from the gun. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw, Prescott. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And out of bounds right around the 20. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Throwing. Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This just 32 yards officially from the right hash. And his kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. Now maybe a moral victory of sorts. They're on the board here late in the first half, but this offense just hasn't looked that sharp. Yeah, but at least they got the three points, right? At least that's something to quote unquote hang their hats on and maybe feel a little bit better about themselves as they head to the half. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach.
this has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, but we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Play fake. Here's Prescott. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game, but in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice game. Now second and five. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And he'll get about three here up to the 44-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They need two. Here's third down. They go to Elliott again. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it gonna take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Second down and eight. Play action. Now Jackson in trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. And now after that sack, we'll pause here a moment because someone was shaken up on that play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. A tough spot here, third and 15. 
And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. So make it back-to-back -back sacks, and the second one cost him a couple of points. And the easy thing is to put this all on the offensive line, but maybe they need to start changing their game planning and their calls. Quicker passes, running plays, especially when you're this deep in your own territory. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. Fielded at the 20. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. That strong return has set them up nicely for this drive, and we all know the next score is going to have a major impact on this game. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 42. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Out of his hands quickly to CeeDee Lamb. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. A first down carry by Elliott. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Try! Touchdown! have taken the lead here in this third quarter. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from, but for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. The Cowboys will line up for the two. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. And he's got it. The try for two is successful. And it pushes the lead up to a field goal. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And the offense for the Ravens returns to the field. And things have changed since the last time they had it. The safety led to the touchdown. So now they find themselves behind as they begin with a first and 10. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. In motion, Aguilar. 
Operating from the gun. Johnson completes it to Aguilar. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected. But this is a good pick up here for the first down. Back to throw now on first down. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. A short throw caught by Andrews. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy and put him on a man-to-man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Partner, I know we're in the era of the mobile quarterback, but there's still an element of surprise when that position keeps the football, and what a nice gain on that play. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And that is incomplete here. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Henry out of the pistol. Shedding the tackler and it gives him some room. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 38. 46 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. This drive is turning into an extended one and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They'll look to throw here on first down. No hesitation, goes right back to Likely. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Malik Hooker. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Oh, that's a beautiful read there by the safety. It's zone coverage, so he's just going to sit back and watch. He knows he can't get beat deep because he has the end line to protect it. So he can react to everything in front of him, and he makes a great break on the football and comes down with the interception. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. 
Cooks on the quick slant. And he's got some space here. Sheds off the tackle. A big play there on the catch and run. 54 yards. All came together for the offense on that one. A short throw that turned into a nice pickup. Big time yardage downfield and is a defender. Against that type of a route, you better take the proper angles. Otherwise, that's the end result. You give up a big chunk of yardage to the offense. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. And that is incomplete and on the coverage. A little too good there, and it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Second and 10. Off the play fake, Prescott. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll bring up fourth down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. And his kick here is good. And that extends their advantage to six. It's 16 to 10. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. So after the main field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And that last turnover could have proven more costly, but their defense only gave up three. But now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive. They need to try and find the end zone. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. A short throw caught by Andrews. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. In motion, Aguilar. Second and five. Over the middle complete. It's Flowers. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. In motion, Aguilar. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and run up the middle with Henry. 
And he is going to lose yardage here. Drop for a loss there on a nice effort by Osa Adigizua. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. Second and 15. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Big Demarcus Lawrence getting in there and bringing him to the ground. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Operating from the gun. Johnson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Henry. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he'll bring it all the way back just a yard or two shy of midfield. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Here's a fake on the jet sweep and instead a give up the middle. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. And no return here. Where will they spot him? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down by six, a minute 38 to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scan the crowd. See if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. He's back to throw. Connecting with Andrews. Gets through and now an opening. Still going. And he's got it all the way down to the 12-yard line. Oh, 
and this is a touchdown or bust drive, and that will definitely help their cause. What a time to come up with a play like that. And now, plenty of time to try and finish this drive in the end zone and take the lead. Well, plenty of time to work with here, but the timeouts, they're gone. Here's first and ten. Back to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown. And they're an extra point away from taking the lead here in the final minute. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? Now Tucker to add the PAT. It's up and good, and they take the lead by a point, 17-16. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was capped by the touchdown pass to Nelson Aguilar. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense and the veteran Ezekiel Elliott set to go to work once more. And he's had his fair share of troubles in this one, unfortunately. This defensive front has wreaked havoc throughout the contest, and he hasn't been able to create enough space to make something positive happen to this point. They'll come up first and ten here. Here's Prescott. That's complete to Lamb. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Here comes second down. Now Dak. And he'll go right back to Lamb. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. This is first and 10. Now Prescott finding Tolbert here over the middle and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. At this stage, you've got to hustle, got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. Here's first down. Here's Dak. Open man, right side, it's Lamb. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to almost certainly win the football game. 
And his kick is right there. It's good, and it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And you know, in an era of cost-cutting and maximizing your roster, this is a club that does not skimp on special teams, and in these situations, it pays dividends. And that's great vision by the organization. When the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have kicking the ball, would you rather have a street-free agent out there or a solid pro like this? Answer's pretty evident to me. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. Here's first and 10. He'll look to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. Here's second down. One final shot. They'll look to throw. This ball intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams, right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, that's to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation.